Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to Rogue System. In this video I'm going to go over the changes introduced in Early Access Update number 1 of the game. Uh, that uh, pertains to version 0.1, 0 0.7, 0 0.15, 0 0.15. These changes come in the form of new VMS indicators, autopilot align modes and the MES flux drive, all of which are very exciting. So. Uh, without further ado, first I'll go over the VMS indicators. If I rotate the ship around here just now, you'll see this dark blue circular icon that I've got in the middle of our display with the dot in the centre. This is our orbital relative ve uh, velocity. This uh, particular one is prograde. This shows us our prograde motion through our orbit. If I rotate the ship through 180 degrees, however, we'll see the other companion icon, this large dark blue circle with a cross. This one is our retrograde orbit. Now let's rotate the ship around again to show us the next one. I'm looking for a smaller pale blue circle. Here we go. This one here with the W. This is our relative self velocity. This one with the W is the prograde. This actually shows us our motion through the system with relation to the largest mass within that system. In this case that is the local sun, which I can't see right now. So that's our, our motion through the system prograde and if I rotate around again small pale blue circle with the cross is the retrograde motion. Now the other indicators that you've probably noticed while I've been rotating around are these small yellow ones. Uh, these are acceleration vectors. This small yellow circle with the dot and the lines top and bottom is our prograde acceleration. When we're not actually engaging the engines in a burn that's going to be pointing towards the uh, body we're orbiting or whichever body might be exerting the most influence on us and if I pitch up a little bit this small uh, yellow circle with a line through it is the retrograde acceleration vector. This is very handy actually because if you're making a burn and this indicator as opposed to the the prograde indicator jumps to your front you know that you have either your uh, MTS boost deflector engaged or your MES reverser engaged both of which is probably uh, not what you're trying to do. So, these are all the icons that we see in declutter or combat mode of the VMS. If I switch to navigation mode, we get some additional indicators. I'm going to rotate us around just now to take a little look at this magenta diamond. Now this magenta diamond with the lines and the dot, which we currently have in front of us, is our radial in, orbital radial in indicator. If I zoom around a little bit in this direction, we'll see a very similar magenta diamond with a cross. This one is our orbital radial out. And you'll have also noticed the yellow triangles. I'm just going to try and bring one of those into view. Actually, that's the wrong one. Let me bring it around a bit more. Here we go. This yellow triangle with the dot is our normal, our orbital normal indicator. Uh, that dot one is normal. And if I zoom around a little bit, the other one with the Y symbol is anti-normal, orbital anti-normal. And uh, these are all of the standard navigational icons. So for now, I'm going to switch us back into declutter mode, which will get rid of some of those. And uh, the next thing I'm going to show you are the new target indicators. Now to do this, I'm going to lock up the local training station. Oops. There we go. He's all locked up. Now, we're going to get some new indicators. The first one I'll point out, it might be a little bit difficult to see here because it's overlaid with so many other icons, is a small blue diamond. The small blue diamond is your turn to target indicator. This will always point you in the direction of your locked target, uh, as long as it's not in front of you. If it's in front of you, the diamond disappears, which is fine. The other one you'll have noticed are these green uh, indicators. Now, the, the green indicator uh, with the upside down T, as shown here, is actually our retrograde motion. And it's in relation to the target. So actually you can see here that we're pretty much flying directly away from that locked target. It, actually before starting the video I did a small burn away from the station, so that would explain that. Uh, this green icon with the uh, little lines and the dot is our prograde. So this is our current uh, direction of travel uh, in relation to that uh, locked station. And again you can see this uh, this blue triangle here telling us which way to steer. Now those are all of the icons shown in relation to 
a locked target. I'm just going to unlock that target now. And the last set of icons that I'll show you are the ones with uh, regards to uh, navigation destinations. If I switch us back to navigation mode, and I bring up my navigation display, and I choose any old uh, planet as a destination, and I click uh, set as destination, which I've now done, first thing actually you'll notice is it gives us a distance, which is quite helpful. But the other thing is we're going to get this new indicator, this very large circular indicator built up using little lines. Now this shows us the alignment that we need to achieve to reach that destination with a constant G burn. Um, now that's generally something you're going to do with the MES drive. And constant G burn, very very simple version of that is you go full, full throttle or whichever throttle setting you want uh, continuously until you're somewhere just before halfway to the target and then you go full reverse or the same throttle setting in reverse. Um, that will basically, roughly, cause you to arrive at that destination. So that's what this indicator is used for. And that concludes all of the, the new VMS indicators. So the next thing that I'm going to show you, and it's something which actually ties in with these indicators somewhat, are the new autopilot align modes. Now these are very, very good. Uh, they're controlled using these buttons and, and this rotator in the middle of the NAS panel. The very first one allows you to set your attitude uh, reference, so either yourself, your orbit, or your target. And in the rotator below sets the actual mode, whether that's prograde, retrograde, normal, anti-normal, radial in, or radial out. Once you've chosen the mode that you want to engage, all you do is click Attitude Align Initiate, and it will align with that indicator. So, for starters, let's choose Orbital, Prograde. And if I zoom out a little bit, I'm going to hit Align Initiate. And if we watch, we will see that the ship will align itself with my Orbital Prograde indicator. And the nice thing is that this mode remains engaged the whole time. So um, you know, if, if this indicator should shift, the ship will continue to track it. And it's nice because it means that you can carry out a burn uh, without having to you know, make small adjustments to your um, attitude. So there we go, that's us. We're effectively aligned with that indicator now. Uh, and I can actually switch which indicator I want to align with. So if I now set retrograde, it's going to turn me around. Now, you can't actually change the uh, attitude reference um, while while the, the uh, alignment mode is engaged. So if I do that, it actually disengages immediately. Uh, so if I choose self and prograde and hit initiate, it's then going to turn me towards my self-reference prograde. So that pretty much uh, concludes that. That's the autopilot align mode. The last thing that's been added in this particular update, and it's very exciting indeed, is the MES flux drive. This is a type of quantum vacuum plasma thruster, effectively a propellantless engine capable of um, delivering quite a bit of thrust, a lot more than the MTS booster uh, in, 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 in any case. Um, so I'll quickly demonstrate how this is used. It's uh, controlled from the top of the MES panel. All you do first is hit flux enable, that powers it. You make sure that your left and right accumulator locks are engaged. You engage accumulator balance. You engage your throttle lock, this stops you from inadvertently making use of the drive, and then you click Accumulator Charge. Initially that will take a bit of time, you'll see the accumulator slowly build a charge, and once it's up at the top, the drive will then be ready to use. So, while we're doing that, I'm going to go over some other small changes in this version. Um, you'll notice that I don't have a cursor anymore, I have a small dot, and this small dot moves as I move um, my head tracker as well, which is quite nice. Uh, what I'll do is I'll turn off my autopilot alignment modes. Um, the other thing that's been added in this version is the ability to turn rotators in both directions. You still have the normal interact button, which I've mapped to my left mouse button, but you can also rotate in the other direction, and I've mapped this to my middle mouse button. So I can now rotate rotators in both directions. In particular, on the, uh, the attitude mode selector on your autopilot controls here, that's very, very useful because there are quite a lot of commands on here. But even things like your, your uh, MTS mode, it's pretty good. Um, it makes it just much easier to flip to just the uh, the mode that you require. The other thing that's actually been added, and it's it uses the same buttons as the interact and the kind of anti-interact, uh, is the HMS. Um, no, HMD, sorry, hard mounted display. If I left click on the HMD now, it immediately captures my cursor. 
and if I middle click, it immediately uncaptures my cursor. This means that you're not having to map an additional key in order to interact with the HMD, and it, it does make life just so much easier. Interacting with this is very, very seamless now, very, very quick and easy. Okay, we almost have a charge on our flux drive. While I'm doing this, I'm just going to declutter my display again. That will take away all of those additional indicators. And uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to align prograde, uh, orbital prograde, actually. I've got the wrong one selected. There. Because I'm going to make a small burn with the MES prograde, just so you can see on the mini HUD here exactly the difference that makes in my velocity uh, and my apoaps. So there we go, ship is aligning itself. If we look down at the flux drive, we just about have a full charge in the accumulator. And there we go, it's showing green. So that's pretty much ready to use. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the throttle lock and You'll, you'll find that the MES throttle is actually a separate axis. Uh, up until now you've been using the MTS booster throttle. Um, I've actually got this set up on a, a split throttle, so I've got both on, on the left and right axes. Um, so you need to make sure that you do map the MES uh, throttle. So with the throttle lock off, I can move the MES throttle and straight away you'll see thrust required is my current throttle setting and thrust generated is what it's actually producing. There is a bit of a lag. And straight away, look at this, look how fast these numbers are moving. <laughs> uh, I'm now going to drop my throttle to zero. You'll see straight away, almost straight away there, Apoaps is escaping. Uh, so that has generated a lot of thrust. And look, the thrust generated is still slowly declining. Uh, it does take a bit of time before it stops producing thrust, even after you close your throttle. And now that I've done that, I'm going to engage my throttle lock again, so I don't accidentally thrust any further. So, looking at our mini hub here, uh, mini HUD, sorry, <laughs> you can see that our velocity has jumped by over a thousand meters per second, even in that short burn. We're now escaping uh, the currently orbited body. And if I switch to outside view, you should even see, yeah our motion away from it is actually fairly visible. So, there you go. Those are all of the additions to update one of, of Rogue System Early Access. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you all next time.